Not looking. Okay. Go. Indian film. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, Amir Khan. Yes. Lagan. No. Okay. Dil Dahaknadu. No. Oh, I was sure you'd go that route if I said Amir Khan. Three idiots. No. PK. No. Stars. No. <laughs> Are we going to be here a long time? Yes. <laughs> These stars? Yes. I've seen it? Yes. Does he have a mustache? No. He's not a cop? No. We've seen it? Yes. Dungle? No. <laughs> We've seen it. <laughs> it's a buddy film. Safe Ali Khan. Yes. Shoot, I forgot the name. <laughs> There's a song, same title. Yes, there. I know. It also has Akshay Khanna. I know. That's the three. That's the three buddies. Mm-hmm. It's Akshay Khanna, Safe Ali Khan, yes. Amir Khan. Yes. And we've seen a lot it. of stupid, silly. We have seen it. They'll chat the high. <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction. It's of Corbin. That's the high school I went to, by the way. Dil Chat the High. Dil Chat the High. Interesting. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juice content. Thanks on Patreon. Follow us on Twitter account. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit the like button. I don't want this to break. Did you get the other one put away too? No, I'll have to put it up there. I'll put it up there. Today we got a uh, video. It's called "Why Churchill's Legacy Is Still Painful for Indians." Well, yes, well, obviously we know. Obviously, we know why. And, but and, this is going to go into a little more depth. And Indians, I feel like they actually talked to some Indians about great. what they feel. Uh, we obviously know. Uh, I, I've heard people compare him to Hitler, the Indians, Hitler. We know yeah. why the, the famine, what he did, how he talked about Indians, all that kind of stuff. Awful, awful, awful person. Um, this is one of the things I've always wanted. Like, why not teach history correctly, regardless of if he's yours or not? Like American presidents, teach the good they did, but also teach that they were slave owners, they raped their slaves, the the awful stuff they did. You can still teach the good stuff. It's not like we're all they're here and we're related to them. You can teach people for who they actually were. Churchill saved Britain in World War II, essentially. Mm-hmm. He also murdered millions of Indians. Correct. You can teach both. I agree. <laughs> I don't. It's know. called truth. Yeah, I don't understand why we have to sugarcoat history. Uh, it's because people want to paint pictures uh, so that they can hide their shame. Yeah, I just don't understand it. I was like, why do you? Me have to- too. You're not him. Why do you have to have shame? But I'm. Re- uh, he's he's part of me. So like that's why the like. Uh, I don't. I just know. don't I understand. Don't, I don't understand it either. Anyways, here I we agree go. with you. In London, he stands tall. For millions here, Winston Churchill is a hero and one of the greatest Britons of all time. But in a colony he once presided over, many point to a dark legacy. Is this the same? He might be an icon in I'll ask at the end. Britain, but in India, he is seen actually as the precipitator of mass killing because of the policies that he advocated and the policies that he followed in Bengal in 1943. Correct. At the heart of the anger against him, a famine in Bengal. It was triggered by a cyclone and flooding. But many blame Winston Churchill and his government for making the situation worse. They did. It's a painful chapter in India's colonial history. Only a few surviving images show the horror of hunger. Mm. Those who didn't die in villages went to cities 
in search of food. Every day, bodies had to be removed from Kolkata streets. <sighs> At least three million died. More than six times the British Empire's casualties in World War II raging at the same time. Amra Dikhir Logra. Chittakumar Shamonto has lived through it. Oh, wow. Amato Onahare. Amar family Karate Hoyche. Ebum Kongkal Shar Deho Manushe Se Augusta Dekle. Boyla Vayeta Manushke Dekle Je Manushna Eta Pretatta. Kalbar De Rasta Oni. Dead body, but a Mora de Hopura had to Kugulet and Chirekache. Oh, wow, Kugulet Chirekache. I want their key. British Sarkar Naki Na Kai Mara Chesta. British troops boats were seized or destroyed. Actor Shomitro Chatterjee oh. was eight when the famine struck. Well, I, I, I wish Andrani was in here. This is one of the examples of uh, brutality and, uh, you know, oppression, exploitation uh, of the British government. I hold the British government responsible for this millions dead and still sort of pushing me here. British officers in India sent telegram after telegram describing how grave the situation was. But for months, Mr. Churchill's government turned down requests to urgently export food that could have saved lives. They feared it would reduce stockpiles in the UK and take ships away from the war effort. He felt more could be done by local politicians to help the starving. What I found in researching the Bengal famine was that um, Churchill did several things that greatly aggravated the death toll. Um, India was being used extensively for the war effort. Indian resources, Indian soldiers. Um, and um, Churchill repeatedly refused to acknowledge the fact that the extent to which India was used could lead to famine. Viceroy to India, Archibald Wavell, called the Bengal famine one of the greatest disasters to have befallen people under British rule and said the reputational damage was incalculable. And that's British. During one government They've discussion done a lot about of bad famine stuff. relief, Secretary of State for India, Leopold Amory, recorded Mr. Churchill saying <laughs> that any aid sent would be insufficient because Indians bred like rabbits. Yep. It is a man-made famine. It's because of global conditions during the war. But I don't think we can blame Churchill for causing it. What we can say is that he didn't alleviate it or send relief when he had the ability to do so. We can blame him for prioritizing white lives and European lives over South Asian lives, and which was discriminatory and which was um, really kind of unpleasant given that millions of Indian soldiers at the same time were also serving right. the Second World War. A Bengali artist went from village to village documenting the disaster. Oh, wow. Nearly all copies of his book were destroyed by the British government. When a fraction Hiding of the, the shame. food supplies asked for finally came, they were carried over this bridge. It's borne silent witness to history. Remnants of India's colonial past remain imprinted on it. But do they matter today? At independence, India was a nation born in hunger, some have said. And so immediate priorities trumped any retrospection about British rule. But today, a generation of Indians more confident about our place in the world are questioning why there hasn't been more widespread condemnation of the dark chapters in our colonial history. Judging leaders of the past through the lens of the present might leave the world with no heroes at all. But there's likely to be little progress on equality without accepting the full truth of their lives. Yoga Dalamai, BBC News, Mumbai. Why do you need old heroes? That's <laughs> why. <laughs> I think tell 
history yeah. correctly. And that is all that it's there for. Correct. Is They're not here anymore. They're dead. <laughs> One of the most beautiful things about film is its capacity and power, when done correctly, mm. to... Um, it's also a power that gets abused and done in the opposite direction mm-hmm. to to tell history as it occurred. Mm-hmm. It's one of my favorite reasons for touting the the greatness of Schindler's List is because it's accurate and it's a segment of what transpired, and you get the feeling for the whole by looking at the, that segment. Sardo Dom as well. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I would like to see a movie made that had international appeal actually that actually represented it the way it was it really transpired like to have a film be made and get the kind of accolades that um gary oldman's churchill got Mm -hmm. up telling the other side of what was going on at the same time yeah and getting that kind of attention getting oscar attention getting international attention so that people would I think that's the fastest, easiest, and most powerful way for people to learn the truth is is a motion picture depicting what really transpired. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Because I don't know that there is one. Yeah, it's just I, I I know we've seen quite a few films actually already, and I know there are films that take place during the famine and, and the partition yeah. and stuff like that. But like, I want one that's Sardo Udam level of, right. of how graphic and awful and just a vial of a, of a thing that humans can do to another people because yeah. they, they wanted, like she said, prioritize white lives over, over South Asian lives. Yeah. It's just, it, and yeah. it's, it's, I just, I hate watering down of history and I don't, or, I don't understand it from any angle. Yeah. Or even more, it isn't the watering down. It's the straight reframing and yeah, retelling. retelling. Like history. there's only one reason the British destroy the art depicting the famine Mm. they want that history to go away because the knowledge of it is shameful and rather than admit the shame and apologize i just destroy it pretend it never happened i also still don't understand like why it takes countries so long to like you know how we just apologize for um some genocide that america uh, one of the many genocides that america has done yep yeah but like there's it's like why why is it taking so long to actually say these things well because for because you don't understand you know why for the same reason there we have racist problems Mm. in the world still when barack obama went to japan and apologized for the bombs a lot of people were really angry at him for having done that Mm -hmm. because they felt the bombing was justified. And a lot of the people, not all, but a lot of the people who felt the bombing was justified had the same mindset that they had back in the 1940s about the Japanese in World War II when the headlines said, Japs bomb Pearl Harbor. They were the Japs. They were the slant eyes. Every other insult you can think of. And that's why they put them in camps here in, in America and it's for the, it's the same reason why after 9/11 anybody who had a turban on their head was considered a terrorist because there is a deep under that whole issue in Bengal yeah. stems to the fact that Winston Churchill considered those brown people to r- replicate like rabbits he considered them animals so why I why just, do anything to help the animals I just don't understand I, like, I don't understand it's either. so easy it's 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 evil and awful well, the evidence is there yep and be like we're so sorry of what our past leaders and people did. I know, but hey, we're barely... Why can't we we're, acknowledge it and also give back the stuff you stole? We're barely... <laughs> we have barely begun to accept what we did to African Americans during slavery. Natives. We haven't even started yeah. getting the Native Americans a sense of sorry for what we did to you. And it's, it's just, because I don't understand it. I don't understand it either. It's so because awful. it's just it, you notice it, it's wrong. Admit it was shameful, and do you don't something need to, to sugarcoat history. Exactly. Tell exactly. history for what it is. That's exactly. what it's there for. Exactly. And I'm this. Well done. More stories like yeah, it. Absolutely. And we need some movies would, made agree. about this. Anyway, so let us know if there's other videos, informational videos we can react to down below. Just-